Create good karma and generate positive change. Create good karma and generate positive change. We need to be the change we wish to see, even if it might seem strange initially. Think globally and act locally. We can totally make this world how it's supposed to be. We will unite against oppression and hate, and as a planet decide a new direction to take. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming on to Simulation. Yeah, Woo! You. Super excited to be hosting you. I'm super grateful that we met at the Andrew Yang event in San Francisco and that we scheduled this. Love the music. 
Now more, that was Generate Positive Change, such a beautiful song. We have so much to unpack about the mission and about the actual music, the lyrics, why you guys are choosing this, why you guys are putting this together. Um, as an introduction, Nala Mora, a.k.a. the Peace and Love Party Band. I love that. I love that so, so much. Also, uh, one of the main missions is to nourish positive human evolution and have a lot of fun while we do it. And playing currently around the Bay, as well as looking to be booked around the USA as well. All these links are below. Let's have an introduction. We have Neil Nyberg first. Neil is on the guitar. He's also on the vocals. We have Coco Harlan. Coco Harlan is on the guitar, and he also plays piano as well. We have No Mansfield, who is on the bass. And we have Young Son, who is on the drums. Love it, love it. So this is the four-piece band. So let's start off by asking you guys, you know, that was beautiful. That was Generate Positive Change. Teach us about that song. Teach us about the mission. Teach us about the vision that you guys have. And we'll pass around the mic as you guys want to start us off. Thank you. Yes, we all want world peace, but we don't just want world peace. We want to thrive. And so we want to inspire people to create a better world. And that is our mission. And um, we um, we're not just a fun band like we're, we're actually trying to make an impact in the world because that matters. And so this is why we're doing it. And we're going to have a whole lot of fun while doing it, too, because we're a party band, too. Yeah! yeah. 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 Th that's, that's beautiful. Just want to say the world peace is such a crucial pillar of ours as well. And we can absolutely get there and do it and have a lot of fun while doing it. I know maybe Coco wants to say something as well along the way. Do you guys each want to maybe say something along the way? Neil, he basically covers everything that we need to say. Um, everyone should just love each other. Yes. Buy our new album because we have secret messaging on it. <laughs> it's going to make you all love each other. I just want to say playing with this band gets me in this great positive attitude. And I think if you just go around each day, you just put a smile on your face. Maybe you're not feeling so good. Just have a good, just a good attitude and, and be considerate. You can get a lot, very far and it's going to affect everyone in a positive way. It's really very simple. Yeah, that's that butterfly effect with the positive vibes that we put out every single yeah. moment of, of life. Be grateful for life. Now, okay, so that's on the, on the mission, on the vision. Love it. And we're going to be playing this beautiful music and having a blast while doing it. Now, how did the band get together? How did you four end up finding each other? Okay. Well, uh, I originally started the band in 2007 in a garage in Newark, California, which is in the Southeast Bay. And, um, and there's a couple different incarnations of, of the band over the years, and for about six years, I didn't do anything. And then when I met Coco in early 2017, we restarted the band, and eventually we uh, got everybody. And um, we've been playing around San Francisco for the last two years, and um, constantly evolving and growing and uh, playing bigger and bigger shows, and now we get to do this with you. How did you guys uh, find No and Young Son? How did you how did you two guys get found? Well, we all belong to the Vampire Club of San Francisco, so that's how we <laughs> got to know oh, yeah. each other. Yeah. I could say yeah. more about the Vampire Club yeah. and <laughs> the meeting secret meeting places on Monday nights at the Hotel Utah Open Mic with Brendan Getzel. I met all of these guys through that and through a, uh, an open mic that I used to host with my wife, Gwenever Q. And so I think it's just a music community. People will always be playing, playing in different bands. And now we're, we just formed this little tribe here. So it's a growing scene. Love it. OK, so that's how the band got together. So it's been two years now of performing together. OK, so now and able to book, able to book them. So links are in the bio for those that are interested, book them. And now, okay, so now you guys gave us this, this big picture, what you want to see the world get to. We're 100% on board. What about, we like asking about the current state of humanity. What is your current take on the state of humanity? Yes, um, humanity is growing and maturing right now. Consciousness is rising on the planet. 
Um, we're going through a major transformation as a planet right now, and people are starting to become more aware of things in general. Um, things are starting to become more ethical. We're going in that direction, and we want to continue with the progression and the advancement of humanity along with its um, maturity. Humanity needs to mature a little bit more and become more loving to each other, more forgiving, because being more loving and being more forgiving, that's going to breed more unity. And more unity is going to breed more cooperation, and the more cooperation we have is the more positive change we're going to have. And then the more positive change we're going to have is a thriving planet for all life. And then we all fucking win. And that will, that will be great for everybody. And then we can all just party. <laughs> so it's a, it's, an, it's a slow period of a consciousness increasing and us figuring out how to play together on this beautiful playground we have on Earth, figure out how to maximize our resource flows to enable everyone to be the absolute peak of their creative potential. Um, Okay, and then now on the last song, Generate Positive Change, tell us about some of those lyrics. We need to be the change that we want to see. We can do it. We need to think globally, act locally. Teach us about these lyrics. Okay. Uh, yeah, I use some, I use some cl cliches like, yeah, we want to be the change we, we want to see and um, think uh, globally and act locally. Um, which is very true, and everybody should do that. Um, we we just want to see everything become better on this planet. We want to make this planet shiny and sparkly and vibrant and just happy for all life. We want everybody to be supported. We're all each other's allies. And so people need to realize that, that we're all just little <laughs> organisms on this floating rock out in space, and we need to get along and work together so we can all thrive. Thoughts from the band on generate positive change? Cool. Okay. I love this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I like the song a lot. I do too. I do too. I it's it. it's I vote for it. I love it. I, I really appreciate that that perspective of being just, you know, eight billion human organisms on on the rock along with all of the other um, plants, animals, insects, and all the um, just this oneness that we really need to start embodying and feeling and dosing up on. Let's roll into the second song, Mama Bear, and then we'll break it down afterwards. Let's do it. All right, this song is about your mom, and about my mom, and about all the great mother figures in our lives, and it's also my ideal of what the perfect mother would be, and it's also about the divine mother of all creation. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
some nice blessings. You're truly quite good at answering my questions. You give me great advice, and you're always so comforting. You're so wise, and your knowledge flows from you like a goddess. You taught me so much as you watched me go up, and you brought me don't stop. I pray how people are so hard working. You're my cheerleader, and such a smart person. So this is so interesting. So it's both on the beautiful, loving, nurturing spirit and energy of a, of a mother of the child that is, that is there for it. At the same time, it's this mother earth. It's this mother evolution. And so, uh, yeah, I just love it. I love it. So now, now tell us, so un, un, unpack this. I know you said it at the beginning. We want to hear more on the importance of, of, of Mama Bear. Yeah, well, um, I, have a, I have a close personal friend of mine who's also a second mom to me, and so I call her Mama Bear, and um, that's how the title came to be, and then um, I, I wrote it about all the great mother figures, and I know it's highly relatable because everybody, everybody has a great mother figure in their lives. It doesn't have to be a mom. It could be a grandmother. It could be an aunt. It could be, it could be a bigger, older sister, and um, it could also it, it be just about about the earth the earth you know mother earth and and mother um the the multi the, the multiverse which was the, the one that we're all a part of source energy uh, the divine mother of all creation and i just wanted to honor all those all those mother figures and that that we 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 like to talk about this a lot on the show. The importance of like this the seed that is birthed into the world, right, is the child. And then that, given the right nutrients, given the right care, love, compassion, water, food, shelter, energy, um, all of the basic needs, air that it needs, that 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 seed can more easily thrive when it gets exposed to all of the potential creative stimuli that that it can actualize itself with. And one of those things is this central key point of this love and compassion of, of, a, of, a, of a mother, a father, um, a grandmother, aunt, like you said, all of the different friend. Um, at the same time, you were talking about source, right? This infinite consciousness, the source consciousness, this mother energy that we're all baked into this interconnectedness that is so beautiful. Um, okay, so now... I want to I want to ask about like we have you know we have this benevolence fucking rules over here we love that so much we talked about nourishing positive human evolution your messaging is very profound um, now what you know we talked earlier at the beginning about what we have for a long term vision of world peace we talked about what's happening on the earth today tell us about these incremental steps towards love, towards unity? What can we do today with this positive energy that we can carry around with us? What are the things we can do today to continue pushing this forward in our communities and around the world? Coco? Me? Oh. Um, I'm really not sure what to say. I think Neil's usually the spokesperson of the band and I just rely on him to cover everything, so. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he created a Facebook page. Um, he's about that. Okay. Unification yeah, years ago. I've always just been about yeah. trying to get everyone to uh, to just work together. There's so much stuff on the news about uh, the enemies and like every, they're making up enemies for everybody. Like uh, and it's just false. Who uh, the fuck are they? Who are the enemies? That's the bottom <laughs> line right there. There's yeah. no enemies. Uh, soon, yeah. Mm, yeah, so yeah. The, the powers that be have used divide and conquer to rule over people for thousands of years. And it's been working. And now we're trying to unring that bell. We're trying to undo that. We're trying to remove all these barriers that divide us because they've been set up to control us and to keep us down. And really the people have the power and people need to be empowered. And um, in, or, in order to work together, people need to be more loving to one another and forgive one another. 
and uh, n n none of us are are religious at all but we want people to be more loving and more forgiving because that will that matters and that will make an impact in the world so um thoughts thoughts from you guys as well yes Everybody should do mushrooms and be kind to each other. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I totally agree. Yeah. You know, I just want to say, I mean, about, just about this entire thing, you know, our, our planet is the mother. You know, without it, there's, we're not going to do anything. We wouldn't be here without it. And I think we just have to be more kind to it and be careful about what we do and realize that we're, I feel like, honestly, I feel like the human species is sort of, it's sort of a, a pest and that we need to learn how to be better. And I think we're making a huge impact on the world right now and it's not good. And I feel like things aren't doing well, but you know, we're just a band, you know, but we can, I feel like this is one little tiny message toward that, you know, we're just trying to get people in a good mood so they can be more receptive to this, you know, and not be fighting each other. So I think that's, that's, that's the first step. It's really up to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Your impact goes a long way, even, you know, as a band, as the, as the four you are, goes a long way as we keep spreading these messages further and further across the world. The good ideas will spread on. And we'll get to that love and unity. I want to ask you, there is a certain, like, C complexity to how all of these different uh, evolution, the evolution of all these different cultures and tribes kind of grew up. And it's hard to get people to wrap their mind around the tribe of Earth, the tribe of that, u of that one, that union, versus the tribe of the individual countries or the individual nuclear families. How do we get more people to get past that and especially in the complexities with trade and econo ec economics and and the and the and and all of the the cyber uh, war that's happening with information technology how do we get what what needs to happen for that spiritual awakening to get past the tribes and into the into the oneness into the unity do mushrooms and be kind to each other <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, that's the thing. Everybody needs to be mellow out and be kind, and that's kind of where, what we're talking about. And, like, we're, we're kind of open about, as far as the band, you know, like we're actually happy and like each other and shit. And, and uh, Neil writes these really cool songs with, uh, like, Mama Bear. I mean, we all love to party with our moms, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're, see, see how fucking wholesome we are? <laughs> No, but anyway, yeah, that's that's we. Uh, everybody should be try to be go out of their way to be kind, yes. in all circumstances. Yes, yes, yes. We 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 want to make it really popular for people to be more kind to one another. Um, make it like the thing to do. It's like everybody's doing it. Like we all want to be more loving to one another. And if you know it catches on, like if it's the thing to do, if like everybody's doing it, then more people are going to do it. <clears throat> and so, us getting out there more and uh, get, getting our music out there um, can help inspire that. Because because we don't have all the answers, and, and and no one person has all the answers. We want to inspire humans to figure all this stuff out, and 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 work together. It's a, it's an interesting, you know, no keep saying, like, do mushrooms, you know, psychedelics are something that, but we, 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 yeah, 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 we, 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 we are totally on board, you know, we love maps, we've had multidisciplinary association for psychedelic studies on our show many times, and we, we are totally for um, the use, responsible use of psychedelics, especially for spiritual awakening, Medi meditation helps with spiritual awakening, these things are deeply important to get more people practicing and involved involved with um, and awakening through that. So completely agree. And even just the general acts of kindness of, you know, thanking your parents for bringing into a thanking the communities that you have for food and electricity, all the people that built all the things that we use every, every single day. Okay, next up, we have Have a Beer is our next song, our third song. S yes. So, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Woo. So let's, uh, yeah, let's jump in to have a beer and you guys will rock that one out.
All right, if there's any beer companies watching, we're looking for a beer sponsor. <laughs> and we will put your brand name in this song. Two, three, four. Again, this kind of plays on the, you know, doing a little bit of our favorite, you know, psychedelics or, you know, alcohol, whatever it may be, responsibly, responsibly. like you, responsibly, not to the point of, of actually harming ourselves with the consumption of, of this and, um, you know, taking Uber if we're driving, all these kinds of things that you mentioned in the song, yes, yes. Um, but it brings us together. There's an aspect of the community that we can have when we, when we sit down and we use um, uh, uh, these, these times to, to bring us together and to m and maybe have, you know, good conversations and, um, and unpack some of the things that we have going on in the world. Now, another thing that this, that this really uh, brought forth for me was this idea of, um, you know, the power of music 
for change. It's almost as though, you know, music is something that's so evolutionarily old, right? Our, our audio, right? Our ability to hear. And so tell us about, you know, the, uh, your, you know you under, your understanding of how music and like your, and your songs can get people into this, you know, this rhythm of wanting to follow the steps towards that world peace to that unity. So tell us about that. Yeah, we think that we're, we're the peace and love party band. That's our nickname. So we, we, we think that partying, you know, can bring people together. Music brings people together, but also having a beer with each other, you know, that can build, you know, you can meet people that way, build community. Um, and it, people ha in, in having a good time in, in a good atmosphere that, that, that is good for unity. Um, yeah. yeah. Other thoughts? Other, other jobs? Yes. Uh, we like beer. Uh, we like to, <laughs> like that guy. Be and we're we aren't, but we aren't running for Supreme Court. But no, beer is okay. Anything is okay if if you don't abuse it. You know, like beer is cool because it'll make you loose and and dance better. At least you think you're dancing better, <laughs> right? And so, uh, but yeah, if any minute an asteroid's going to hit, so we might as well be partying, right? <laughs> Now, yes. Well, yeah, I mean, let's have a beer. You know, uh, the song used to be called Chug a Beer. And so, you know, we were thinking about it and we're like, how about have a beer? Get a little more responsible with it. You know, chugging a beer that might lead to some, some bad stuff going on. So I, I'm thinking it might be sip a beer at one point. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the older we get, the less <laughs> it gets <laughs> radical. Yeah. Yeah, sip a tea. Sip a tea. <laughs> sip a tea. Changing it to have a tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can bond over tea. Yeah, that's funny. So it's like that, that highlights the evolution of, uh, of, the, of the ethics as well, is that we may start with thinking, yeah, chug, but then we take it back a notch for safety and for health and all that stuff. Um, I love, love, love the power of music and the power of your music, of Nala Moore's music, in order to be able to get us towards that unity, towards that world peace. And I think to have more millennials and Gen Z, the young people listening to this music, making their own bands that propagate music of love and peace and unity is definitely what we need because music is that powerful changer um so is you know in the video as well as you know what we try and do these video these thought-provoking conversations we think are very good very compatible ways that get people excited um okay we have some we have some questions that we like to ask on the show all right and and um even you know you explained this earlier neil and i want to make sure people hear this message again um teach them about how that unity gets us to greater cooperation which gets us to greater change and gets us to that um that state of planetary one yeah, so like i said n none of us are religious but we take the things from christianity and most other like like most major world religions teach love and 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 the golden rule which is just doing to others what you would have them do unto you. And um, he, being more loving and being more forgiving to each other will breed more unity that way because people are become friends, <coughs> that they support each other. And then more unity, then there's more cooperation and people need to work together. <coughs> and then more cooperation, then there's more positive change. And then more and more and more positive change a thriving planet for all life, nice and bright and shiny and sparkly and thriving, yeah. and and then we all win, and that's the end game. Yes, yes, that's that's very that's very beautifully said, and I really wanted you to hit on that. I'm glad you did. There's this there's this this is this first step, like you guys have all been saying now, is this this loving and forgiving attitude towards each other and towards um, what we have here on Earth, and there's. There's a, <clears throat> I kind of hinted at this earlier, there's these weird economic and political and social pressures that kind of are driving people into this me mentality. Me, I reap, I, 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 me. And it's kind of plagued because there's no, there's, no, there's no separation. There's no, e the ego is an illusion, right? And so to get to that state of interconnectedness is this really deep process of like sincere self-work. 
And I think that's something that, you know, we've had Bernard Gunther on the show, we heavily agree, like this process of tuning inward and, pr and, pr and working on one's own self towards that love and forgiveness can then catalyze a massive global shift in that direction. The, ch the systems have to change too, the economics, uh, the politics have to change in that direction as well. Um, Okay, um, the couple questions that we like to ask on simulation on the way out, um, we'll go maybe from Neil over here. Um, and the first question is, do you believe we are alone in the cosmos? Oh, absolutely not. We are definitely not alone. The universe is teeming with life. Um, uh, I, I'm not really talking about aliens right now in my career, so, um, but, I, but yes, I definitely know that they exist. <laughs> Maybe that's another song I idea, potentially. Oh, yeah. you know? Yes, in the future, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that we're alone. We might not have found anything out there right now, but we can't be alone. Uh, I was alone a little while yesterday, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but it didn't last. Uh, no, we're not alone. Uh, do you know that uh, a scientist told me once that there's a gene uh, in your DNA from everything that's ever lived before you? Uh, yes. Like, so it just reinforces that we're all one. I uh -huh. mean, there's frog genes in you, and there's tree genes in me, and there's trilobite genes in him. M yeah, mostly trilobite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. But, yeah, it's, uh, we're definitely... Uh, not only are there others everywhere else, we're, we're all connected here and there, you know. And it's, anyway. Yeah. Well, just think about all the different species on this planet and how different they are from, you know, the extremophiles at the bottom of the ocean, insects, humans, everything in between. And imagine, just imagine what there could be out there. Now, there's no evidence that there's anything out there but I mean look at at the known universe it's a gigantic with so many different types of planets and and areas that I mean uh, it's uh, it's unimaginable what could be out there so that's what I that's that's that brings up my creativity and makes me want to just create what that could be and not be anywhere close and then let's ask, uh, this is simulation, so we will ask you, are we in a simulation? Hmm. Well, they say life is a dream, so I don't know. Um, it could be. Um, I know that, that the universe is holographic and that everything is energy vibrating at a certain frequency, and I know that the frequencies are rising on the planet right now. Um, um, that's all I really could say about it being a simulation. I think that it's possible that it could be a simulation, um, but it doesn't change anything. We should make the best of it. I, I was in a simulation yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> but then the dog came in and puked on the floor and I just blew, took away, you know, ruined the mood. I don't think we, there's no, there's no way to know. There's really no way to know. So it's a fun thought. <laughs> it's a thought experiment. Yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be poking, poking the, the simulation with our scientific probe soon and, yeah, yeah. and checking. Some yeah, way some way to test it. Exactly, exactly. And then our last question on the show is, what is the most beautiful thing in the world? Love is the most beautiful thing in the world. Love is the cure. Love is the universal key. All humans are here to learn how to love. And each lifetime is a learning and growing experience. And you'll go through lessons and struggles. And <clears throat> it's all really basically to learn how to be more loving. And, yeah. yep. Yeah. I think that covers it. <laughs> Love is the most beautiful uh, thing in the world, except for my sister. <laughs> the most beautiful thing in the world to me is uh, right here on my drum set. I don't know if you can see it. This one right here? 
And that would be my wife, uh, Guinevere Q, no big fucking deal. Wait, no, can I, can I do it over my bike bundle? She's the most beautiful. <laughs> we have any cor answer corrections? Music, we can't forget music. Music, yeah. Was that oh. her the larger oh. poster? Or the, yeah. Uh, the yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Right. I just yeah. want to make sure. Yes, yes. <laughs> and <laughs> edit, edit, Sorry. quick edit. No, I yeah, just a quick edit. Yeah. Uh, I need to edit to my wife as the answer. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I need to edit, edit, edit. <laughs> um, I love it. Okay, so um, give us the quick uh, bit on the future of Nalamora. You guys have um, to, uh, a Bay Area performing. Uh, links are below, everyone. Also, um, looking to get booked for, you know, you said, and have a beer. You said that you're looking for, again, sponsors for the songs. Um, are you guys thinking about doing, you know, other music around our interconnectedness and our unity? Is that kind of the trajectory of the music as well? So teach us about the future for you guys. Yeah, we're just we're just waiting until someone wants to sponsor us so we can tour and spread our magic and love around the world. Um, we we set up shows around San Francisco and the Bay Area. Um, we're playing at Bottom of the Hill tomorrow night here in San Francisco. Um, we're also I'm hosting um, a free outdoor indie music festival on Ocean Beach Saturday, June twenty second. It's called June Beach Fest, and we are playing and. Uh, Coco has his own band, No Parking, that are playing, and uh, No has his own band, Revolution, which are playing. And yeah, we're 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 all in each other's bands, really. Um, and uh, we're playing at a few different house parties, and we're working on our our next album, which is our party album called Getting Down, Hella Tough. And we're also about to release um, a really important song called Solar Punk Opus which is all about creating new green sustainable infrastructure all over the world being very ethical very green sustainable fair trade ethically sourced everything and um a really egalitarian societies we we, we want to promote people to, to live in that way um we, we basically we want to raise money to build universal basic infrastructure all over the world, and especially in the poorest areas of the world. So clean water, housing, stuff like that. And uh, that's, our, that's our plan for the future. Now, now, now give, me, give me the quick bit on, um, on the, other, the other bands. This is interesting, we didn't know that. So are you, is Young Sun also in another band as well? Okay, so teach us, you have, we have no parking. Was teach us about the other band as well and about um, what is the the like, what's the mission and the vision of your, other, of your other bands as well? Well, my mission, I just really love playing music. That's all I wanna do. Uh, I listen to uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan's guitar playing and I try to pick up all the little things he's doing, uh, Jimi Hendrix, and uh, that's all I do. I just want to play. That's, I don't have any like specific mission. I just want to do what I love to do. I love that. I love that so much. That's when you know that someone's super dedicated to their craft is that they just want to do that as like the thing that they do with their life. Love it. Yeah. <coughs> I it's. I feel really lucky because uh, I am sort of in a community, and in, in, in this group in particular, but other ones that we're all connected with. Uh, uh, Jason's band. Jason plays in uh, one of my other bands. These guys play. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, get down! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the San Francisco music community is probably one of the tightest that I've ever been around, and it's, and it's really... Uh, based on sort of supporting each other as opposed to maybe uh, Los Angeles or New York. So that's it, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the episode uh, with featuring Nalamora uh, on generating positive change and their band and everything. Check out all their links in the bio. Uh, keep supporting the artists and entrepreneurs that you believe in, everyone. Much love, and we will see you soon. We're going to close with California Poppy, Nalamora's last song of the evening. Thank you very much, and much love. I want to hold your hand on the Golden Gate Bridge. You're the one I want to grow old and gray with. You're lovelier than a dozen bouquets of tulips. I'm
was so glad I met you Thanks to Cupid You're nice and pleasant like a small ocean breeze In the tropics Coming across the calm open seas I like that you're the type of gal that's sort of naughty And pretty as a brightly blooming California poppy It's indisputable It's irrefutable On the inside you're even more beautiful With your unpolluted soul Nothing about you is dull Truth be told